Well, outside of schools, the surge in COVID-19 cases is also starting to trim business for local hair salons. KSHB 41 News reporter Andres Gutierrez has that story tonight. Barber shops and hair salons felt something wasn't quite right when clients started canceling their appointments at a time of year when they're usually overbooked. These days, Barber Drake Murph would rather see these sharp lines instead of the ones on charts showing the rise in COVID-19 cases. This is one of the jobs where I have to come to the shop to get money, so there's no way to cut a hair over Zoom or anything like that. <laughs> He set up shop on West 39th Street near Maine in 2011, but wasn't sure they'd survive the lockdown at the start of the pandemic. By the grace of God, then we're still in business today because I don't know if we can do that again. Business picked back up until right around Thanksgiving. Yeah, so I've had a, a lot of people tell me that their kids or their relatives have gotten COVID. And so just as a uh, precautionary measures, they felt it best that they cancel their appointment or reschedule. And the cancellations keep coming. One of Drake's co-workers, Lalo the Barber, had at least four people back out on a fresh cut today. People feel the way they feel. Some people don't want their kids here and they have situations at home. So, you know, I understand it's very understandable, but at the same time, it, it's not, you know, it's unfortunate for all of us. The feeling is mutual at Studio 8, the salon in Overland Park. How are you navigating this surge? It's really day by day. Um, it's really hard to look too far ahead because things change so fast and drastically so quickly. Stylist Rebecca Dawson says many in her industry are bracing to juggle a slew of rebookings, but they'd rather deal with that than the current situation. This has taken quite a toll on all of us. Every cancellation is money that we lose that week. And when you're self-employed, um, it takes quite a bit of a, a hit. With public health experts urging people to mask up, get vaccinated and boosted, the hope is that COVID numbers will go down and clients will come back. Reporting in Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, KSHB 41 News.